WWE NXT, <laughs> November 11th, 2020. So but maybe the starkest contrast between these two shows is how they handle the fact these shows were on Veterans Day. NXT, or AEW put up a quick graphic, like 10 seconds. They did their usual opening. Lots of thank you veteran signs from fans and people alike. And the announcers referenced it and they moved on. NXT, long Veterans Day video. Tribute to the troops footage, all the stuff they've done overseas. Long graphics, there's flags everywhere, the whole nine yards. And not only is it completely unsubtle, but it was as much a celebration of what they have done on Veterans Day as it is Veterans Day itself. Well, so. that's that, what they do. That is what they do. Yes. That is what they do. But they got a video package on there, so that was nice. That was very nice. Johnny Gargano was in the ring. As promised, he is going to defend his North American title. He's going to end the curse, he claims. He has a wheel of challengers. And there's this wheel set up in the middle of the ring, and there's Dexter Loomis's name, and Roddy, and Pete, and Bronson. And then they have taken athletic tape and covered up a name, and in Sharpie written, Leon Ruff. And he says, I'm the first time, I'm the first two time North American champion. I liked the tape, but what? You're telling me that they had an NXT wheel that had everyone's name on it? <laughs> yes, Brian. This has been like, ready to go for months now. I would think from watching the show that Johnny Gargano just made his own fucking wheel. So why didn't he make a wheel that had Leon Ruff's name on it? He just came across a wheel that had everybody in NXT's name on it, and he had to put a piece of tape over it with Leon Ruff's name. He had a it was wheel very made. wacky. He had a wheel made with one blank spot left. When he got there, you see who the weakest man in the building was. He would write that name in. So he notes he was a two-time North American champion, the only two-time North American champion. But of course, the first time he won that North American title, he lost it on his first defense. Just like when he won that NXT championship, he also lost it on his first defense. He's cursed, I tell you. But tonight, we reverse the curse. And he goes to spin the wheel, and it is so plainly, clearly, obviously gimmicked, which is part of the appeal of this. It's spinning back and forth, settling down on Leon Ruff's name. I'm laughing my ass off. Johnny marvels at Leon Ruff. What an opportunity for this young man and how unpredictable this whole thing is. So it's Johnny Gargano versus Leon Ruff for the North American title. From the point the wheel stopped spinning to the moment the match begun, you have never seen a nicer, friendlier, kinder, more likable Johnny Gargano. He's over the moon happy for Leon Ruff. Can't wait to welcome him to the ring. Raises his hand, asks for a big ovation, and the bell rings. He just starts whipping his ass. So he's beating him here, beating him there. They're brawling outside the ring, and Damian Priest scares Johnny. And Johnny jumps back in the ring, and he gets hit with a schoolboy for two. But he kicks out of that. And a few minutes later, and I have a few minutes, a few seconds later, he tries something, but Leon hits a crucifix bomb, wins the match, wins the title. Leon. To, yeah, he tried a super kick. Johnny tried a super kick. Yes. And uh, Leon ducked it, hit a crucifix bomb, wins the match, wins the, wins the title. Leon Ruff, your new WWE NXT North American champion. Yes, everyone. This was a championship match. Yes. This was not Johnny being wacky and having a wheel. No, they, they addressed and getting this. getting a non-title challenger. No. This was for the title, and he lost the title to Leon Ruff. Yes. So the post-match... Now, the whole thing is, Johnny has a curse. Johnny thought he had rigged the system to beat the curse, and now Johnny has failed. The whole story is about Johnny. But the post-match is all focused on Leon Ruff being shocked, Damian Priest laughing his ass off. There's one quick shot of Johnny and the ref playing tug-of-war, but that was it. We needed, if they're going to do this, we needed more Johnny in the post-match. So we go to commercial. We come back. Leon is congratulated as he comes backstage. Damian Priest pulls him aside and says, listen, in a few minutes, Johnny Gargano is going to come back here. He's going to be all pissed off. He's going to kick your ass. Damian Priest hands Leon Ruff his car keys and says, take my black challenger and go. And Ruff books it. He disappears into the parking lot, presumably, presumably finds Damian Priest's black challenger and goes. Johnny comes through. As promised, he is all pissed off. And Damian's mocking him for choking. And Johnny says, whose stupid idea was that? And Damian says, it was yours, you idiot. And Johnny says, no, Johnny Gargano hates wheels. Everyone knows that. There was no contract. Reverse the decision. And the screaming is going on as the commercial, as we go to, go to commercial. The, the exact lines from both of them was, first, Priest says, you made this match, you idiot. 
And Johnny says, whose stupid idea was this? And he says, it was yours, you idiot. And as Johnny is flipping his lid, he walks off screen and Damien Priest yells at him, go watch Wheel of Fortune. Yes, yes he did. This fucking, this was no joke. The dumbest thing that NXT has ever done with a championship. Yes. Well, they, yeah. they put the title on a guy who's had exactly one match on NXT TV. It was a match that he lost to a guy who was on a losing streak. Yes. Austin Theory is on a losing streak. He won exactly one match, and it was against Leon Ruff. And if you remember, he won it after Leon Ruff botched a spot, and he just hit his finish and pinned him. They then make a joke out of Leon. He's so skinny, yes. the belt falls off of him. Oh, I didn't he, mention that part. Yes. Yeah, he trips on it like a geek. Then another guy has to say, bro, you're the champion, but this guy's going to kick your ass, so you got to get out of here. So there's comedy. He gets sent away. Damian Priest is clearly the star of this segment. He ain't even yes. close to the championship right now. I mean, the whole thing was like a really stupid idea someone came up with. And I hate to say it, but we needed a Vince McMahon here to say, bro, Vince Russo, we're not doing this idea. But there was no Vince McMahon here. And so Vince Russo went through with his idea. And this fucking thing made television. Yeah, it's canon now. This, this is not a dream, everyone. Leon Ruff, the North American champion. We'll see how long it lasts. I would guess not very. I would presume exactly seven days. They'll figure something out. But uh, yeah. So remember when we watched Halloween Havoc and this finish confused us and we were told there's more to come? Yeah. This was it. This is the more to come. And yeah. I'm sure there's more to come from this more to come. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.